Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to this special edition of the Match of the Gathering Market Watch, and this is our Picks of the Month video for January 2022. A quick note about this series, obviously it comes out once a month, but it does go out to the gold patrons first, so by the time you see this on YouTube, it could be about 24 to 48 hours later, and with this month's topic, that might matter. The topic is 11 cards for Commander Rat decks you might want to pick up. So Kamigawa Neon Dynasty preview season is right around the corner. I'm expecting to see some love for the Rat Tribe. So by the time you see this on YouTube, there could be some shifts in prices. We'll have to kind of see what happens. The reason I say that is because we have seen some leaked cards from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. One of them did mention rats, and another one was a rat itself. Plus, Mark Rosewater did confirm that a Rat Rogue is in the set, so I do think we're going to see more rats in the coming weeks. Right now, many players are focused on other tribes, like ninjas and samurai, so it might be a good time to talk about rats before this preview season gets into full gear. Quickly, though, before we talk about these rats and rat support cards, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use the Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Kamigawa Neon Dynasty products there. They also have a whole lot of other things on their website. And remember, if your order is over $100 or consists only of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Also, whenever you use the Heroes promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated, so thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Quick reminder about the purpose of the video. It is not a gameplay video. This is more about cards that could be going up in value over the short term and definitely over the long term. So the 11 cards you're going to see aren't necessarily the best cards to put in a rat deck but they are the cards that potentially could see the biggest price hikes in the future. On the flip side, though, this is not a get-rich-quick video. At any time, any of the cards we're going to talk about today could be reprinted. Perhaps some might get added to the list with Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. The video is more of a reminder of, hey, if you don't have these cards in your collection and you want to pick one of these up, it might be a good time to do so. Most of the cards we see today are black. The last one is a land, but we're going to look at all the black cards in alphabetical order. This is Ayara, first of Loch Thwain, at $3.78. This does not have the rat creature type, but it is a good support card nonetheless. This is a popular card generally in Commander, and you do see this in Maronar builds, but also many others, including a newer build, Toxril the Corrosive. The first ability impacts all opponents, making it ideal for Commander. The second ability lets you draw a card, which is always good to have. Ink Eyes, Servant of Oni, three copies to talk about here. We have the original one from Betrayers of Kamigawa. That's at $34.99. The one from Plain Chase 2012 is at $33.27. And the one from Plain Chase Anthology is the cheapest right now, $26.67. There are products that contain some premium foil copies of this card as well. You can find one in From the Vault 20, and there's also one in the Year of the Rat Secret Layer. This card has moved up already recently, but notice it is a rat as well as a ninja. We're going to talk more about the ninjas in just a second. But we did see one leaked card that is a rat ninja. And this currently sees a lot of play in Yuriko the Tiger's shadow builds, which is why it has gone up in value recently. Ninjas have been confirmed to play a significant role in Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. Like I said, it is a rat as well, and it does see play in Marrow Nar decks in Commander 2. Quickly, though, before I move on to the next card, I just wanted to show you the two ninja support cards that Wizards has already previewed at the time of recording. And they're on the screen now. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read the cards. I'm only going to spend a moment on them. But they are Kaito Shizuki and Satoru Umazawa. Marunar, you knew this card had to be here. The original Champions of Kamigawa copy is at $12.64. The Mystery Booster Retail Edition, which only comes in foil, is at $10.90. There is also a premium foil copy in that year of the Rat Secret Layer that we mentioned earlier. Notice this one is a Rat Rogue. It can be found in the 99 of a Commander deck occasionally, but this is usually used as a Commander for a Rat deck. Next we have Nizumi Shortfang slash Stab Whisker the Odious. The original Champions of Kamigawa copy is at $3.37, pretty affordable. That Mystery Booster Retail Edition copy, which also only comes in foil, that's only $2.11 right now. It is another Rat Rogue at first, but once flipped, this can put pressure on all your opponents in a Commander game. It can also be found in a few different decks there, including Marrow Nara Rat decks. 
Here's yet another card that you can find a premium foil copy in that Year of the Rat Secret Lair. But today we're talking about the Return to Ravnica copy, only $2.94, very affordable. This is Pack Rat. Again, this appears in a few different commander decks, but it is most commonly found in Maronar rat builds. Great way to turn extra lands or other cards that are just not doing much in your hand into board presence. Here's another card that is not a rat itself, but a good support card. This is Rat Catcher. The Dissension copy is at $2.22, the Masters 25 copy only $1.99. Very cheap cards. If you picked up a copy of this and then it got reprinted, you wouldn't feel too bad. Again, occasionally this is in another commander build, but typically you see this in Maronar decks. Rat Colony from Dominaria, $2.83. This is one of those cards that can break the one per commander deck rule. You can see it says there a deck can have any number of cards named Rat Colony. Because of that, this common has become relatively expensive. Now, they did include five premium foil copies of this in that Year of the Rat Secret Lair, so that is worth noting. When it comes to gameplay, of course, this is in Maronar Commander decks. Once in a while, it shows up in some other builds there, too. Here's the second card that breaks that one overall. This is Relentless Rats. This one has been reprinted a number of times. Let's take a look at the prices, though. First, we have the copy from 5th Dawn. It's at $2.23. The 10th edition copy, $2.28. The Magic 2010 copy, $2.38. The one from Magic 2011, $2.20. Masters 25, $2.33. The copy from Time Spiral Remastered with that old card frame is the most expensive at $2.99. And finally, the copy from the list is the cheapest at $1.86. Now, the list isn't the best way to get extra copies into the marketplace, but this is a little different. This was part of the list all the way back to when it began in Zendikar Rising, and it stayed on all the way through Innistrad Midnight Hunt. It just came off the list with Crimson Vow. This is also another card you'll find, obviously, in Marrow Nar Commander Builds. Species Specialist. This is at $5.06 currently. This is not a rat, but it is a great way to keep your hand stocked if you're playing a rat commander build, like maybe Marrow Nar, for example. This is in a number of other commander decks too, though, like Cheddarfang Squirrel General or Toxroll the Corrosive. Another pretty cheap pickup here with Swarm of Rats. You have the Portal Second Age copy at $2, the 8th edition copy at $1.83, and the 9th edition copy at $1.58. Again, just another card you find in many Maronar commander builds. And finally, our last card today is a land that supports rats. It is Swarm Yard. $7.49 for the Time Spiral copy, $7.29 for the Time Spiral Remastered copy. There is also another product that had a premium foil copy, and that was the We Hope You Like Squirrel Secret Layer. This is a great utility land for many commander decks. Maronar is one of them, of course, but others include things like Chatterfink Squirrel General and Orvar the All Form. All right, that's going to do it for this month's Picks of the Month video. Remember to join us this weekend for our regular episode of the Market Watch, where we deep dive into everything that's happening in the secondary market. Until then, though, hey, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.